My name is Ron Eagle Elk, and today I'm going to be tying a Bailey's Black Spider. Uh, the hook is a Daiichi 1640 in uh, size 12 to 16. Uh, the thread is uh, pure salts, brown, uh, gossamer silk, well waxed with cobbler's wax. In the old days, the pure salts black silk uh, would break, so the, the old tires didn't use it for tying. They used it for ribbing and waxed the, uh, the brown pure salts to get the black thread. Uh, start out with just a couple turns around the, around the hook shank near the eye. The, uh, the hackle for this fly is a starling body feather or back feather. Uh, the starling is really an underrated bird as far as I'm concerned. There's so much that you can do with a starling. Uh, it's a great soft hackle feather. Uh, strip the fuzz off the base of the feather and tie it in so that the feather protrudes over the eye, shiny side down. Take a couple wraps to secure it and then wrap your thread back to the barb in touching turns. I go about halfway, trim off the tag end of the thread and the stem, and then continue wrapping. When you get back to the, where the barb is, go back forward toward the hook of the eye, or the eye of the hook, I'm sorry, until you're half to two thirds of the way back. I like to bend the stem of the hackle just a little bit so it'll wrap easier. Take the tip of the feather in a hackle pliers, or you can use your fingers if you have small hands, and palmer the hackle back toward where you have the thread hanging. Secure it with one wrap, break off the tip of the, of the feather, and then wiggle your thread and wind it back up through the hackle to the eye of the hook. Use your fingers to secure the hackle out of the way. Take one wrap of thread and then secure it with a three turn whip finish. Whoops, I'm sorry, I just broke my thread. Uh, sorry about that guys. Uh, three turn whip finish, trim thread, fluff up your hackle, and the fly is done. Uh, this fly was used in uh, about 1850 by James Bailey to supply the trout for the hotels in the town that he lived in. Uh, W.C. Stewart hired Bailey as a ghillie. Uh, Stewart was a fly fisher and writer of note and wrote about the fly, and it's now called a Stuart spider instead of a Bailey spider. And that's all I've got for you today.